In this short Excel video, I will show you the Excel Ideas button that you can use to quickly and easily generate beautiful visuals for your spreadsheets. And Excel Ideas is available right now, I believe only in Office 365 versions of Excel. That includes Office 365 for Windows, Mac, and also online. So here I have an Excel workbook with a family income spreadsheet for a hypothetical family. And I have a 2020 spreadsheet with a lot of financial data. And of course, I could generate some visuals, some charts, etc., by selecting the data itself and going to insert and inserting charts of various kinds. And I can also use this tool here, the quick analysis button, to investigate some visuals that I can add. And if you want to learn more about both of those methods, please see my other videos. But in this video, I want to focus on Excel Ideas. If you want to use Excel Ideas, you don't even have to select the data. All you do is open up a spreadsheet and then click on the Home tab, Home ribbon. At the right side, you should have Ideas. Again, if you have Office 365. Click the button. You may need to be patient, so wait a little bit. And it will bring up a list of ideas of visuals that you could add to your spreadsheet. It's suggesting a pie chart about income sources. It's also suggesting a pivot table that I might like, income sources, an interesting looking pivot chart, and notice that there are a total of six results. So there are some results that are hidden. I could click show all results like I just did and then browse down to see the remaining options. So I like this first pie chart. I'll click insert chart and it adds it to the spreadsheet just off to the right and below the data in this case. If I zoom out a bit, you can see a little bit better where it put that pie chart. In my case, I also want the pivot table. So I'll click insert pivot table. In this case, because it is a pivot table, it didn't add it to the spreadsheet itself, but rather it created a new spreadsheet in the workbook, and it's a pivot table about the data in my family income spreadsheet. Of course, I could reorder the spreadsheets by clicking and dragging to place idea one next to the spreadsheet where the idea came from. Now, of course, once you've added these ideas, whether they be charts, pivot tables, pivot charts, etc., they are editable. So I could click to adjust this pie chart, for example, and I could use the tools that are here to change the chart style, to do some chart filters, and I can click to add chart elements and so much more. For example, selecting the chart, there are some chart design options here at the top and format options. So these ideas, they're pre-made, predetermined using artificial intelligence, but I love that you can customize and make them more like what you exactly would want. Let's now try Excel ideas again, but with a much more complicated spreadsheet. I'm gonna close the ideas panel, and as you can see, I'm now on the spreadsheet titled 2020. This is a huge spreadsheet with lots of data, so fortunately I don't have to select the data to use Excel Ideas. Just be on the spreadsheet, Home tab, Home ribbon, click Ideas, and it generates a list of ideas. You can see the ideas generated in this case are quite different, and the reason why is because the data is very different from that previous spreadsheet. In this case, I get a total of 36 idea results, so many, many more to choose from some very interesting, powerful looking charts. This one talks about outliers. This one found a correlation between two different pieces of information. This pivot chart highlights a pattern in the data. So this can be a great way to use artificial intelligence to identify trends, identify key information about your spreadsheet, and also to add some beautiful looking visuals that you can then customize once you've added them to the spreadsheet or onto a new spreadsheet in the same workbook. In this case, I'm just gonna click Insert Chart. What a beautiful addition to this spreadsheet. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below. Speaking of Patreon, I wanna give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for your great support. <music>